Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Harish and in this channel I talk about various no code tools using which you can build pretty much anything from a web app to a mobile app or to an automation. And in this video we are going to look at how you can capture users input in an Alexa skill or a Google Assistant based application which you can build using voice flow which allows you to create these without writing any piece of code. With that let's get started. All right, here is a quick demo of how you can capture a user's input. And what do I really mean by user's input? It can be their name or it can be their favorite color or favorite genre in a movie or whatever, right? Depending on what idea you have to build for an Alexa skill or any voice based application. And let's see how we can achieve this using voice flow. And uh, let's first get started by creating a project. Once you click on create project, you get different options of where you want to deploy this. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to say Alexa and name this untitled and create a project. Once you have a canvas, you will be able to see a couple of options. One is the welcome block, which is like the starting point of your skill itself. Since you're building this for Alexa, I'm going to call this a skill and I want to move this quickly here and start by asking the user what his name is i'm going to rename this block to welcome and here we'll ask the user's name you can also add variants which alexa will randomly pick and ask these are alternative ways of asking the user's name Now once we have this, on the left you should be able to see choice block under the user input section and choice block allows you to create a path which has intents and intents have entities, right? Now what is an intent? Intent is the intention of what the user will respond to, right? Here our example is about capturing the user's name that is our intention and the entity here will be the actual user's name itself so i'm going to name this path as capture name and click on create and once that is done you should be able to see the utterances field right and under utterances you can add different ways in which the user will respond and obviously as i mentioned before our entity here is the name right so let's quickly get started by creating the entity itself right to create the entity you will have to add it in curly braces and i'm going to create and you can select the entity type as us first name right that will identify that the user has responded with the name now i'm going to click enter and add multiple ways in which the user may respond to this question right so the other way is i am name or you can call me name or my name is name these are different ways in which the user may respond to the question right and the skill should not proceed further until and unless we get the name for that under entities you can click on the entity that you created and enable that this is required and you just have to apply the same steps that we created just now which is what's your name is the prompt in case the user doesn't respond with his name and the response utterances will be the same. The variants that we just added, which is I am name, you can call me name, my name is name. Once this is done, the next and the last step is to add a greeting block, which will read out the user's name to him for the sake of this example, right? I'm gonna say, hello name or also add a variant and say what a nice name. name since name is the entity here you can always add curly braces and use any entity or any variable that you have in your uh, skill now we'll just link the capture block to this rename this to greet the user and then link the start block to the welcome block Just do this right now our obvious next step is to test this and see how this works i want to click on the play button on the top right corner for running a test 
and now it's asking me what's my name I want to say I am Hesh and as you can see it picked what's your name as the option for the first question and also hello uh, responding with the user's name as the second option under the different variants that we've added and that's how you capture user's input in this case I've showed you a demo of how you could use or get the user's name you can also use this to get anything that you want from the user right their preferences or any of the entity types that are supported by Amazon Alexa you can always select those entities create those entities and use them now if I were to go back here and show you a quick thing about the entities now if you click on the entity itself you can add multiple entities here by clicking on this and selecting the entity type that is accepted right if you want to find out where the user is from you can do city if you want to find out what is their favorite author you can do this author name or book name book series or city whatever you're trying to build make sure you select the right entity for that specific use case and create those entities directly here and if you want to use the default available variables in the platform you can always use them using curly braces uh, and typing any of these out i'll probably cover this in much more detail in another video but for now that's uh that's what I wanted to share in this one. I hope you've learned how to capture users input from this quick video. And if you like the content, make sure you drop a like and consider subscribing because this channel is all about no code and building stuff without coding. See you in the next one. Peace.